731 right now, and if, oh, she just said that. If your reason for buying, <laughs> <laughs> I knew I heard it somewhere. If your reason for buying an electric vehicle is to save on gas money, you may want to reconsider. A state senator from Clearwater is proposing a fee to make up for that lost tax revenue. Box 13's Matthew McClellan is on that story. Good morning, Matt. Laura, good morning. The concern here among some lawmakers is about motor fuel based revenue streams. By 2040, those revenues could drop by a dramatic 20%. This, according to FDOT, as electric vehicles become more popular. And this bill, just introduced Tuesday afternoon by Senator Ed Hooper, the Republican from Clearwater, if passed, Florida EV owners would have to pay a yearly $200 registration fee. This, on top of those existing registration fees to own any vehicle, it's to help make up for lost gas tax dollars. Then starting in 2029, the cost would go up to 250. Plug-in hybrids would uh, get hit with a $50 annual fee. State lawmakers say the proposed fee is needed to replace federal and state taxes, including taxes that fund road construction and repairs. The number of EVs in Florida has surged in recent years, but according to the U.S. Department of Energy, they still account for less than 1% of vehicles in the state. This proposal comes after lawmakers in Texas passed a similar measure this spring charging EV drivers an extra $200 per year. That's going to cost people quite a bit of money because now it's going to be $200 to renew an electric vehicle when a gas powered vehicle is about $50. So that's four times as much. And for a new car, it's going to be 400. We know that electric vehicles aren't paying gas tax. So the state needs to find its money from somewhere. 32 other states require a registration fee for electric vehicles. The annual fees currently range from $50 all the way to $255. The next legislative session, Laura, begins on January 9th. If it passes, this proposed law would take effect in July for, uh, on July 1st of 2024. It's also worth mentioning that the state Senate tried something similar to this uh, in the 2023 legislative session. It passed in the Senate but stalled out in the House. So this is something they're going to be trying again in the next session. Laura. Okay. All right, Matt McClellan, live for us this morning. Thank you, Matt.